Jai Gurudev. To all the artists out there who are listening to us, today we have the president of the Art of Living Academy of Performing Arts, Dr. Manikantan Menon, a composer, an Ayurvedic doctor, a spiritual leader. Among so many different perspectives, today I would like to ask him about Rasa and Bhava, the two central tenets which are a part of every art form in India. In the 11th century, Abhinav Gupta, he said that the greatest desire or the greatest goal of mankind is to experience the aesthetic relish. And it is that aesthetic relish or rasa which is the ultimate goal and not liberation. Abhinav Gupta was so lost in the arts that for him, he said, uh, rasa is not in the world, but only on the stage. And later when we look at dance, we say, Nrityam Tala Bhava Ashrayam. And this bhava is said to be found within the Karana Sharira, within our, within our self. Uh, so how can we um, look at the concept of rasa and bhava in the arts and connect it with the bhava that we find is central to ritual and spiritualism? Uh, Sunil, uh, rasa also means the, the essence, the juice. And bhava is what is the outcome of the rasa, actually. Can we say that in, in Natya Shastra also? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Bharat Muni says that, that it is rasa is the essence of uh, the, all rasa, the rasa, components. Nichod. In Hindi, I can say nichod. The, the rasa, like amras. You see the amras. It has got different flavors. And the rasa can be like, you know, you know in one point, like two. It all originates from one point. It emerges like a fountain. And it just goes through the different colors and becomes the bhava and the expression, through the expression of the artist. But if it is not, if it is very dry, just imagine your life, your life itself is so dry then there is no expression, there is no bhav, there is no abhinaya, there is no lasya, there is no shringara, there is no, nothing comes out of you if it is dry, all dry inside. But the source is so rasmai, it's so juicy. And to get connected with that juice, you need some ways. That is why the ancient the, if you look at the ancient acharyas, they were all they were all spiritual leaders as well. They have, they were very very much well founded in their own spiritual being. Because without that, they cannot produce anything out. That is the root. Without the roots, the tree cannot grow. You cut the root and put it put it just like that. And put the best best manure, a lot of water, everything, sunlight, everything. It will not grow because there is no root. So rasa comes from that aspect of a being, you know. And to connect there, you need yoga. The connection, the process of connection is the first process. If you are not connected, then the expression, the, the fruit will not come. Bhava will not come. Flower will not, it will not flower. Flowering is at, it's like, so the juice in us, the real existence of ours, the love, the joy, the peace that we are. They don't even say that we have juice in us. They say we have love in us. No, we, they don't say we have love. They say you are love, nothing but love. So that is the existence. That is the rasa. Rasa mai. And from that, the flower comes, the fruit comes, and it gives shade to the entire people, those who come under the, under the tree, and then it it spreads fragrance, it it feeds the people around. So that is how a artist an artist should be. Artist should find the connection within first and connect through the rasa rasa, connect within and through the rasa the bhava should come out. This is what I have thought about because that is my experience here. I was a singer a musician. I have composed music even before Art of Living. But there was something missing in it. 
some juice was missing then i realized after doing my first sudarshan kriya and meditation pranayam and coming in touch with uh, a master like shri shri gurudev my experience and it also it also helped me in my my other profession like ayurveda i was able to help people in a better way through my ayurvedic knowledge also so everything depends on your experience and your connection if you are a psychologist for example if you don't if you have not experienced what is your mind you will not be a good psychologist same with an artist if you know if you don't know don't know do, do, if you have not connected with the art through this uh, pro- processes and the method methods then you cannot bring out your potential fully for the, for the rest of the world to enjoy and to benefit thank you so much bhaiya thank you yeah, thank you